I've got a couple of tips here for uh, for speeding up Lightroom, and I'm talking about the latest versions of Lightroom, the Lightroom Classic CC. Um, speeding up Lightroom when it comes to looking through your photos. So while there's certain things I can do nothing about, I can't I can't speed up the import process for you. If for some reason develop is is going slower for you, there's nothing that I can do there other than point you to another video that I have that I'll make sure that I link here that's got some some speed and performance enhancements for Lightroom. But if you're using the latest version of Lightroom, I can pretty much guarantee you that once your photos are imported, this will help speed things up for you. Okay, so the first step would be when you're doing your import, you're gonna go to File, Import Photos. When you're doing your import, over on the right-hand side under File Handling, you're gonna wanna choose Embedded and Sidecar. Okay, this is a quick video. I'm not gonna go over what everything does in here. Just understand this puts an embedded JPEG um, into Lightroom so that we can see that very quickly. And that's going to help that process of scrolling and going through your photos. Okay. Once we get inside of Lightroom, once you do that import, here's the other key thing is don't go to develop. All right. And take a photo and then hit the right arrow key and expect it to speedily always go to the next photo. Once you're in develop, you're telling Lightroom, I want to develop this photo. I want to edit the photo. And in order to do that, I want access to all of this photo's information. In order for Lightroom to give you that, it's got to build a full high resolution preview, which takes time. Okay. So what you want to do is if you're going to scroll through your photos, you're going to start inside a library and you're just going to hit your right arrow key. Okay. I'll hit the space bar key. I'll get a larger version here. You're going to hit the right arrow key. And if you chose embedded in sidecar, as long as you're inside a library, what's going to happen is, is that process is going to be very, very fast for you. In fact, if you want to see how fast it can be, I'm just going to hold down the right arrow key and it pretty much looks like a video. All right. See here, it's going through the photos is almost a, you know faster than you could possibly see them. All right, so there are lots of blurry photos in there as well. Um, but that is the, the key, is you've got to be inside of library in order to do this. And when you do this, you can go through these photos very, very fast. You can rate them, do all the different things. Once you rate them and once you get through that process, now I can go ahead and click on my pick flag down here in the filter area. Now I would jump over into develop and I would start to edit those photos. Just understanding when I switch between one and another, it might take a couple of seconds for Lightroom to build the preview. Okay, you can see here as I, as I start to hold down that right arrow key, sometimes it takes a second. Sometimes it could take a few seconds, depending on the speed of your system and all those other things that I can do nothing about. Depending on those, it might take a few seconds to render that photo. But just remember, if you want to very, very quickly go through and rate your photos and get them down to a point where you're not looking at hundreds, maybe you're just looking at a few, do that inside a library because it's going to make it a lot faster.